I've done a video that covered rotations and I've done a video that covered trigonometry, but I never made a video on how to get clean rotations in Pygame. And I also never did a video on how to split an image based on its center so you can center things easily. These are both actually pretty easy and they use the same concept, which is why they're in the same video. This video will be pretty short, but hopefully I can cover everything I need to. So right here I've got a window, a, a image that's being blitted at the location of my mouse. So I move around the mouse and it's moving around the image. Uh, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add a rotation to this image so you can really see the wonky stuff that happens when you rotate images and why you need centering. So I'm just going to add a highgame.transform.rotate to my image. I'm going to put in the angle. I'm going to set the angle to zero. And I'm just going to slowly rotate it. Angle plus equals 0 0.05. Uh, keep in mind this angles and radians here. Actually, no, it is in degrees, so never mind. I'll do 2. It's actually still pretty slow. I'm going to do 6. This script is pretty simple. I'm just loading my image with this line here, and I'm just putting it at my mouse location. So let's take a look at what happens with it rotating. Actually, while I'm at it, I'm going to change this background so you can see what's going on. Okay, so I've got the rotation going on here, and you can see how the image is just kind of changing sizes and bouncing around, and this rotation looks really wonky. If you remember, there was a blue box that was surrounding the image, and that was just taken somewhere in the image. I'm guessing it was the top left corner to use for the rest of the image as it expands to fit the rotated image. And the way you fix that is by setting a color key for the image. If I set the color key to black, which there's no black in the image, but if I do, it'll get rid of that box. So let's take a look at that. So now as you can see, there's no blue box around it, but it's still bouncing around as it rotates, as you can see. The idea of centering an image is pretty simple. You just take the width and the height, and then you divide that by two and subtract basically half the width and height from the location you're rendering at. Since you're subtracting half of the image's width and height, half of the image will appear to the left of whichever X position you initially intended, and half of it will appear to the right of whichever X position you originally intended. And the same thing goes for the Y axis. So you don't want to apply this to the image itself, because if you notice, when you rotate it, the image changes sizes. So you want to make a copy of the rotated image so you can get the dimensions of it. So image copy equals that and then dot copy. Or actually no, I just did that. And then we can subtract half of the width and half of the height. So if I render this again, it should be centered now. As you can see, it's spinning directly around the center in the MMS location still. And this rotation looks very smooth. Half of the image will always be to the left, and half of the image will always be to the right, half of the image will always be above, and half of it will always be below, because we're subtracting half of the image from the location we're putting at. So now just to prove what I'm doing, kind of, I'm going to do the same thing with just a static image. So I can just do image here, and then I'll comment out this line, because we don't need it. So we can take a look at the centered image. I actually made a mistake here. This needs to be image and image now. So now if we look at our image, it's still centered, it's just not rotating now. So that's pretty much how you do image centering. Uh, typically in my games, I don't use it for much. I mostly do use it for rotations because uh, rotations themselves aren't that smooth in Pygame unless you do the centering. Typically with things that you rotate, it is just better to work by the center coordinate. Keep in mind that this concept doesn't just apply for images. You can do the same thing with hitboxes, where you subtract half of the hitbox width from the position you're going to put it at, so that the hitbox is based on a centered position. That's pretty much it for this video, and this kind of concludes my half series, sort of, on rotations in Pygame because there's a lot that goes into it when you consider that a lot of things involving rotation do need trigonometry too. If you have any questions, you can go to my Discord server. I have a channel dedicated to questions there and I can answer them much quicker than I can on the comments of this video. If you're interested in my projects, check out my Twitter. And if you're having any issues, you can always just download the code in the description. Just keep in mind for this one that I'll just be having the code itself instead of the whole project. So you're going to have to provide the image you use. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.